When I was 15, I started modeling, and it was a very hard thing to walk away from. Then around the age of 45, I started noticing that the way I was perceived was slightly different than what I had become used to. And then I would put photos of myself in bikinis. All of a sudden, I started getting the influx of are you a little desperate there, Grandma? How about you cover up and spare us the look of your poor aging body? I was sort of getting relinquished to the invisible women category. People will literally just walk into you. And you think, hold on a second. I am actually a far more interesting person than I've ever been. And this is where you don't want to see me anymore because I've aged out of being physically appealing to you. I understand what it takes to make my skin wrinkle free and I don't think it's worth it. Being able to express how I feel to me is one of the most wonderful things about my face. I'm like, isn't that why it was made? I'm trying to go, how about this? How about this unaltered, even beautiful? How about that? Well, well, welcome. Well, thank you. So pleased to be here. So, Thanks. look, this is a big deal for a lot of women, and there are women who would love to look like you at any age, and you say that you noticed something around 45. Mm -hmm. What I got was sort of a very slow understanding that I was becoming invisible. I'm not just talking like, you know, I stopped getting the attention of men. But like literally, you know, walking to a bar, you're, the, the bartender doesn't notice you going into a shoe shop and like nobody's noticing. It's literally like a cloak of invisibility that comes over you when you're a roughly middle-aged woman who looks middle-aged. Really? Yeah, yeah. Now, you have a new book, No Filter, The Good, The Bad, and The Beautiful. And why did you write it? Well, actually, so the reason I wrote it, it's, it, it's not completely philanthropical. Uh, Maria Shriver uh, followed me on Instagram. And right. she called me one day and she said, you know, I really love what you're doing on Instagram. So would you consider writing a book for me like you write Instagram? And so, you know, dealing with topics that middle-aged women deal with. I mean, it's, in my case, it was divorce and then the death of my husband you know, grief, and then also aging, and invisibility, <clears throat> and, and, and sort of all of the stuff that comes when you find yourself in your middle age, and sometimes single, and your children have left the nest, and it's like a second coming of age. It's like you're supposed to start something else, and just at the same time as the rest of society saying, Grandma, back off, into your corner, go and knit. Now, when you were on social media, a plastic surgeon called you out, actually, and said there were some things you needed to fix. Well, they posted <laughs> they posted a picture of a picture of me that I posted on Instagram that I thought I looked really good in, and and underneath it, they pointed out everything that I should have done in order to look good, and I find that offensive. I find that truly offensive because I look around me and I look at women my age. And I look, I look at all of you and I think, but wait, what I have gained with age, fine, I've lost that bouncy smoothness that comes with age, but my face now has character. And that to me is so much more beautiful. Do you feel that it really, there's a shift when you start getting to a certain age? I mean, do you feel that? If you do, raise your hand. Uh, okay, yeah. yeah, so a lot of pe yeah. a lot of people feel it that way. You put a blanket down on the beach and people will just like walk over it like you're not there. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's so I'm not it's, I mean, it's is that, it that kind bad, of thing. Really? Yeah. Uh, this is the best age to do a, like a bank robbery for sure. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.